Well, one of the most lasting impacts of Margaret Thatcher's leadership was when Argentina invaded the Falklands in 1982. She responded decisively and sent a naval task force to the islands. They were retaken just over two months later and Mrs Thatcher's popularity soared. Well, I'm joined now by Simon Weston, who served in the conflict and suffered severe burns and who's become one of the most iconic figures of the war. It's a great pleasure to have you on the programme tonight. What, what are your thoughts on her passing today? Um, first and foremost, it's so sad because, you know, she was a mum, she was uh, a private person in her own right. Um, and I, my heart goes out to the family because anybody loses anybody, it's sad. Um, but then I look at what she meant to, to a lot of the guys who served down in the Falklands. I can't speak for them all, but I can speak for some of them, um, the ones that I've spoken to. And, uh, you know, we were all very privileged and feel very proud to have had her as a leader because... She was ferocious. Um, she was so steadfast. She never let the guys down in that regard. Um, and she cannibalised the armed forces because, in, in essence, we had nothing, a bit like it is today, even though we've got the best of what we've got, but it's still not enough. Uh, but then, you know, it was just as bad, if not worse. Uh, but she made sure we had the best of everything we could get. So. And she had to fight, didn't she, her own cabinet, to, mm. to convince them to go to the war. She wore black throughout the, the whole conflict and she talked to you very affectionately of, of her boys, didn't she, or our boys as a country? She was very supportive of everything that we did and I'm, I'm president of the Falklands Veterans Foundation and she was very supportive of what we did and what we, we've tried to achieve on behalf of our fellow comrades. Um, she, was, she was very proud of, of everything that was achieved back then and the islanders. What, did, what do you think it did to our country to win the Falkland Wars? Some people say it gave us a lot of pride and kind of gave us a lot more backbone than we had back then and she was responsible. Yeah, she, she helped galvanise the country. You know, we were, we were drifting when she came into power. We were drifting into becoming a second or even a third rate country at the time. You know, there was so much inertia here, so much negativity. And, you know, she fought tooth and nail with an awful lot of people to, to achieve a, a standing and a status because wherever she went in the world, she was a serious politician. Um, people revered and feared. And even if you didn't like her, you still respected her because she was that type of person. And you met her on a number of occasions, yeah. particularly with your present role. You're in charge of the veterans, aren't you, for the Falkland Islands. Well, what did you say to her? What, what anecdotes could you give? Well, we, we spoke and, we, well, I said hello to her and uh, she said hello to me. And then all of a sudden, a, a mother of one of the guys who was very close to me at the time, but I won't say the names, um, she came and she sort of was quite aggressive with Mrs Thatcher um, because she wanted answers about things. And... So I missed my opportunity. And then I met her six times after that. But we never, ever spoke. We never actually, we never shared a sentence together. But I remember speaking on the QE2 on the 20th anniversary. And she was told categorically not to speak, not to speak by her doctor because she'd been poorly. And her daughter, Carol, was with her to make sure she didn't. And I, I left after saying a few words to the assembled audience. And I was told later by some of the friends that I had there, that she got up and spoke, which is just sim is symptomatic of everything she was. She was tenacious, she was ferocious, um, but she was incredibly British, you know, and she was so proud to be a leader of this country. That That's self-evident to everybody, but I, I feel very privileged to have served under such a, a strong leader. I wish we had the same sort of leadership over the last 15, 20 years. Do you think we'll ever have another Margaret Thatcher serving as our, our country's Prime Minister? Well, let's hope. There's always hope, and, you know, love and hope, two strongest emotions you can have. And if we're lucky enough, we will have another one to lead us. But I wish we'd had one through the banking crisis, that's for sure. <laughs> Simon Weston, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Best of luck for the future.